Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. Today, we are going through the Cartella system. I apologize if it seems a bit rushed. Roll the intro. We know there's something going on with the Vardwar and the Cartella system, but we haven't been able to get any ships close enough to determine what that is. I think you'll have better luck. The area doesn't have a lot of resources, but there's enough Vardwar ship traffic in the area to indicate a major base. But they're guarding it so closely that it could have something to do with their sudden jump in power. Given the aggressive nature of the Vardwar, getting close enough to investigate without attracting their attention will be difficult. We've made contact with a Hazari bounty hunter in possession of equipment that should allow you to approach and infiltrate their base. Greetings. It is agreeable to work with you again. The Vaudoir have greatly expanded their reach since Voyager first encountered them. Their military capabilities have developed at a rate that Starfleet Command finds troubling. An additional concern is that some leaders of the Vaudoir supremacy have developed unusual physical characteristics. These individuals exhibit strength and resilience far beyond the norm for their species. The crew of the Lisette has shared their data of your previous encounter with one of the enhanced Vaudoir with the Alliance. We have used it to devise several modifications to our weapons that may counteract their ability to reflect a portion of energy directed at them. I have provided the specifications to your crew, and they have already made the modifications to your weapons. However, these modifications are untested. It is unclear how much effect they will have. Not yet but we have found a location that may have the answers we seek. Officially, Cartella is a defunct mining colony. However, intercepted messages indicate that the lower levels of the facility are being used by supremacy leadership for an unknown purpose. Your mission will be to covertly enter the base and gather intelligence on the Vaudoir. We have made arrangements with Yadren to provide you with equipment you will need to approach the system safely. The Hazari will provide a modified hollow emitter that should allow you to approach the planet. Hollow technology is unfamiliar to the Vaudoir. If you don't want to blow this whole deal, help me with these Vaudoir! Warning. device called a hollow emitter from a big-eared fellow named Quinn. It's programmed to replicate the appearance of a Vaudoir freighter. I don't know the specifics of this technology, but it works and I'm delivering it. That completes my contract. Quinn says this one has a few upgrades that aren't technically legal in the 
the Alpha Quadrant. You're trying to run a con on the Vaudoir. You should use the right tools for the job. It was my own fault. I should have activated it before I entered the system. But hooking it into our power supply was more complicated than Quinn said it would be. Alpha Quadrant Tech has too many redundancies. Backups for your backups, and none of it matters because emergency power always fails in an emergency. Good luck. I'll wait here in case you make it back. Voyager will remain here with Yadren. With your permission, I will beam over to your ship in order to coordinate the mission. We have arrived at Cartella Prime. Your engineers have installed the hollow emitter and it is ready to activate at your command. We will need to infiltrate both automated and manual detection measures before we can reach transporter range of the planet. Our first task is to bypass the automated security perimeter. Excellent. Next, we will be challenged by orbital traffic control. Remember that the Bodwar are an aggressive species. Unidentified vessel. Your transponder may be malfunctioning. Please transmit your ship designation and flight plan. You're cleared for docking, sir. Now we must avoid detection from the Vodwar ships. The hollow emitter will be essential. The tunnels beneath the planet are protected by a subspace scattering field that our transporters cannot penetrate. I have found a safe location at the edge of this field, but once you beam down, you will need to make your way through the tunnels to the base itself. You are just outside of the Vaudoir security perimeter. I have accessed their internal sensors, so I will provide you with tactical assistance throughout your mission. Be wary. There is a Vaudoir patrol just ahead in the passage that crosses yours. Nearby, you should see a console. Use it to override the blast doors and trap the patrol. Be sure that the patrol is in the correct position before you activate the console, or this will fail. Logs at the facility indicate it is in poor repair and has suffered several mechanical mishaps. Use this to your advantage. Acts of sabotage that simulate equipment failures should not arouse suspicion. I am detecting a Vodwar patrol ahead. Maintain your position until they pass. That should keep the patrol occupied. I am detecting another group of Vodwar ahead. Access the security camera from the console nearby. If you overload that data tower, the Vodwar patrol will investigate. Program the door to seal them in. Alert. Conduit malfunction on level 2 section beta. Engineering teams respond immediately. Excellent. Proceed cautiously.
There is a large drop ahead on your right. You will need a grapple gun to cross it. You will need to incapacitate all of the Vodwar ahead. Insert the anesthesine gas canister I provided you in the environmental control console and alter the air composition. Alert! Environmental control malfunction on level 2, section Delta 3. Engineering and medical teams, please respond. There is a large drop ahead. You will have to rappel down. You need to traverse this cavern without the Vodwar seeing you and raising the alarm. To do so, you will need to use your grapple gun, as well as take advantage of anything in the environment. First, you will need to reach the support platform. Shoot a grapple across and then zip line down. Sneak up behind that guard and incapacitate him. To advance further through the cave, you will need to disable the proximity sensors. That console should allow you to do so. Now zip line to that outcropping. In order to exit this cavern without detection, you will need a distraction. We will need to move the Vodwar guards below and ahead of you, away from the next support structure. The rocks near you are unstable. Try to trigger a collapse. The way is clear for you to grapple to the next support structure. Make your way across the ledges to the outcropping near the next support structure. Grapple to the next support structure. Approach the guard and disable him. There are more guards at the other platform. Use your tricorder to reprogram the anti-personnel turrets near them to attack the Vodwar targets. Attention! Malfunctioning turrets on Level 4, Section Beta 2. Security and engineering teams report immediately to Level 4. The walkway is offline. You will need to grapple across the gap. They are aware of your actions. You cannot delay. Sensors are reading something large blocking your route through the cavern. Activate the crane with the nearby controls to move it. Not much further. There is another grapple ahead. There should be a place where you can drop down just ahead of your current position. Now slip quietly out of the cavern before the Vodwar see you.
I am detecting some unusual signals coming from below this area. You must reach the bottom of the caverns. I recommend you overload a console to create a diversion, and then trap the Wadwar guarding the area in a force field. Intruder alert! Commander Gallic, please respond! An intruder? I'll handle this. Finally! Gallic? You will pay for killing Gallic! What? Was that thing? You saved my life. I don't know why, but I am grateful. What was that thing? It crawled out of the commander. Was it controlling him? Never. It's some kind of parasite, isn't it? What do you know? Do you believe other members of the Vaudois are infected by these beasts? Could all of our leaders be contaminated? I know my duty. I cannot allow you to wander freely through our compound, but I can't ignore this either. A temporary truce, then. I will accompany you, and if what you say is true, I must know how many of my people have been taken. I think it went down that passage over there. It went down one of the cracks in the rock. We'll have to deactivate that force field to pursue it. It appears the creature has already left the area. I would recommend you scan the area with your tricorder. Perhaps it left a hormonal trace you can follow. I didn't know these caves were so extensive. Only the highest leadership is allowed down here. How did the Vodwar come into contact with the parasites in the first place? It has been many years. I wonder how many of our leaders have been infected. Surely Gala can't be the only one. Based on Starfleet's previous encounters with the parasites,
you should be extremely cautious. The creatures show remarkable. Give me an enemy I can confront face to face. This dis They are insidious. These creatures nearly ended the Federation. Although we have had our differences with the Vodwar, the Federation do not wish to see any species enslaved. This area has always been off limits. I expected some kind of a hive. But this is just a storage room. I see some of our stasis modules, which means there are soldiers who have not been rewoken. But the rest of this? It's just supplies. There's nothing here that will prove what you claim. Perhaps this infection was limited to just one man. What was that thing? Wait, did you hear something? Ah, I see you've met my little friends. They want to get to know you better. What are you? How far has this infestation spread? You have such a small mind. The joining will help. You will see everything we can be once we are brothers under the skin. Now! I cannot allow you to spread this infestation! Vodwar are alerted to your presence. You must leave the facility. But the subspace scattering field is still in effect. Find the controls and disable them. Find the controls to the subspace scattering field and disable them. Although you have helped the Vodwar people today, do not believe this makes us friends or even allies. No, I must remain with my people. Perhaps I will discover more of what's really happening here. Your activity. 
activities on the surface have alerted the Vodwar to your presence. They are beginning to inspect the starships in orbit. I would recommend returning to the ship immediately. The information you discovered in the base is troubling. While Starfleet knew the neural parasites found on Earth sent a signal to deep space before they were destroyed, we never knew the destination of that signal. It very well may have been the Delta Quadrant. However, contemplating the ramifications of parasites among the Vaudoir ranks must wait. The fleet protecting this planet has been alerted to our presence. It is only a matter of time before this vessel is discovered. Unidentified vessel. Your transponder codes are invalid. Security vessels are on their way. Please hold position and prepare to be boarded. There is only a 0.008% chance that this ship will survive a direct confrontation. One last act of sabotage may be what is required. I propose we swap transponder codes with another vessel. Given the aggressiveness of the Vaudoir, there is a 68.4% chance they will turn on one another. We can escape in the confusion. work. Now that we know at least some of the Vodwar have been taken over by the neural parasites, we can form an appropriate plan of action. The one Vodwar who helped you, Commander Eldex, may be of assistance. It was clear that he was not aware of the corruption. With your permission, I will return to Voyager. There is much still to do before we will see the end of the Vodwar threat. Thank you again. Live long and prosper. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.